L-O-V-E, love. How you doing? Another Motivational Monday here. Love, L-O-V-E, everyone wants it, how do you get it? Well, I just read this amazing book called Project Everlasting by my good friend Matt Boggs and his friend Jason Miller. Two bachelors who went across the United States interviewing people, happily married couples, uh, who've been married for at least 35 years. Incredible insight. What did they learn from America's most happily married couples? Well, I took some notes, uh, and I have to admit, I cried a little bit when I read this. There were some really touching moments in it. It's very hard for me to admit that being an Australian man. Don't tell my Australian mates back home. Um, all right, so here are some quotes. Find a person who makes you laugh, someone with whom you can talk for hours on end and feel utterly comfortable sharing yourself. Keep your individuality and never get into a relationship where someone tries to take away who you are. This is really important. A lot of us try to change and change ourselves in order to fit in with the other person, but you have to be yourself and your partner has to allow yourself, allow you to be yourself, okay? Uh, fighting is inevitable, but it should never be about winning. It should be about finding the best solution to a problem and knowing when it's time to let go. To commit to someone is to create a new life from which you never waver, from which you never waver. I think today too many people break up uh, because it gets a little bit hard, but what the, the common theme, at least in this book, from all these happily married, married couples is that there were fights, there were problems along the way, but they stuck with it. They kept, kept working at it. They stayed together and ultimately they had a beautiful, long lasting marriage. Uh, Sex is the reward of building real romance, not the other way around. Real intimacy stems from romantic friendship, okay? So sex obviously is important, but romantic friendship, according to happily married couples for 35 years plus, is more important, okay? Marriages don't get stale, people get stale. An everlasting marriage is absolutely 100% possible, but only if you believe it's possible. Okay, so when you're going into a relationship, if you believe it's possible, you work on it, you commit to working on it with your partner, your chances of success are far greater. Nothing is beautiful alone. It's beautiful only when you look at it with somebody else. Write love notes to each other. Hide them so they're surprised when they find them. So beautiful, isn't it, when you find a little handwritten note from someone? It just makes you feel so good. And when you write a handwritten note and leave it in a hidden spot for your partner to discover, Wow, they're going to feel so amazing uh, about that. So uh, another common thing was guys, move quickly if you like someone, okay? All of the men featured followed their instincts and were gallantly persistent. Now that doesn't mean you can be stalkerish. <laughs> A woman says no to you, no means no, right? But you can be gallantly persistent. You can try to keep changing her mind. Uh, and a lot of the, the stories in here were, were guys who who kept persisting, who kept chasing, who kept pursuing. Not like a stalker, just be a, a, a gallant gentleman in your pursuit. Uh, and here's the other thing, the more you share, so the more honest you are, the more you talk about your feelings, the more you trust the person you share with and the safer you will feel. So there are some tips there from some of uh, America's most successful marriages. The book is Project Everlasting and if you wanna focus on L-O-V-E, love, and get this into your life. Absolutely check out this book, Project Everlasting. And if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe down below and share this video with someone who you think could get a lot of benefit out of the messages from this book, Project Everlasting.